All right, hey guys, this morning I wanna just walk you through the, uh, the basics on a vacuum pump. Uh, these are the vacuum pumps we use here at the school. They're made by Field Piece, uh, real good pieces of equipment. You want a couple factors you want for uh, vacuum pumps. One, uh, you want it to do a good job. You want it to pull a good, deep, solid vacuum, uh, first and foremost. Second, you want it to be as small and as light as possible. This thing's gotta sit on your truck, you got to get it up on roofs. You got to drag it around to the back of houses. You don't want it too heavy, but you want to do the job. So, kind of a trade-off. It's uh, this is typically a uh, a piece of equipment that your uh, company will purchase and provide for you on a service truck, uh, whether you're an installer or a service technician. So it's usually up to the company on what type of equipment they're going to buy and uh, uh, what it's going to be, and you're just left to use it. So. Um, so a couple factors on vacuum pumps. Uh, oil is extremely important on vacuum pumps. Uh, the oil is used to um, help filter out contaminants and moisture and anything in the system. It's, it's used to help that whole process. Um, oil is uh, put in the oil fill here, cap back on. The nice thing about this particular field piece, and that's another feature you want to look for on a, on a vacuum pump, is the ease of uh, oil replacement. This one is super easy. In fact, they say in their literature, you can replace the oil in this vacuum pump while it is running. Kind of a nice, another nice little feature. Um, it comes with these replaceable oil cartridges. This one's empty. Um, what you would do is put it in, make sure the seal is there, open the valve, straight up and down, all the oil that's in the sump would drain into the uh, disposable container in here. You take it to one of your vendors and have them dispose of the oil. Um, once it's all drained out, you would close the valve. These are uh, replacement uh, tanks that you can get. Uh, this particular vacuum pump also comes with one just mounted on the side, ready to go. So you would take it out. Close your valve, open your oil fill, fill the oil back up. Once the oil is filled, you would put the empty container back down here and you're ready to go for your next oil change. Uh, oil changes are important. They need to be done frequently. Um, the better the oil, the better the vacuum. All that's going to be real important as we talk more and more about pulling vacuums on systems. All right, so... A couple other features on this. We've got different sizes of uh, hoses we can put on the vacuum pump. Here's our typical quarter inch that uh, most gauge sets uh, are equipped with. Your hose would just go right on there. Make sure you only have one of these open at a time and that the others are closed or you're not in use and you're ready to start the vacuum pump, okay? Uh, another feature on this, <laughs> This particular vacuum pump, and not all of them have this particular feature, but this is called a gas ballast. When you're doing an initial drawdown of a vacuum on a system, uh, the majority of the particulates and junk and acids and stuff that's in the system uh, is going to come out in the majority of the vapor when you first start the vacuum. So the thinking on this is we open the gas ballast, we're able to pull the refrigerant out of the system through your vacuum pump, but not using the oil. That way we can get most of the bigger contaminants out first. Then we would open the gas ballast. Make sure I got that right on here. I'll turn this on real quick. Okay, so when the light comes on, that means the gas ballast is open. As soon as we've got the majority of the contaminants and we've, we're starting to pull a decent vacuum, I can close the ballast. Now all my vacuum uh, ability is going through the oil in the vacuum pump. I'm now using the second stage of my vacuum pump, the full capacity of it, and I'm gonna be able to pull a nice, deep, good vacuum, okay? Um, so let's see, that's oil changes, that's hoses, that's gas ballast, off and on. Uh, of course, the uh, vacuum pump is a very important tool, very expensive, three, three four hundred bucks for one of these. Um, 
something you want to take care of carefully, get it onto the job, do the work, clean it up, put it back in your truck, make sure oil gets changed. Uh, it would be actually best to change this oil every time you do a job. Maybe a couple jobs every time uh, between oil changes, uh, but definitely no more than that. Uh, good, clean oil is critical to being able to pull a nice, deep vacuum, okay? And uh, next video, I'm going to show you why it's so important to have a deep vacuum. We'll, we'll talk about why we do that, okay? It's coming up next. Thanks.